Hey guys, coming back at you with the last Super Bowl recipe for this year, and that is my garlic and habanero hot wings. These hot wings are really delicious and extremely spicy. I'm going to be using a fresh habanero, so consider yourself warned, all right? Watch how I handle this pepper in the video with gloves, and if you actually handle it with your bare hands, which I don't suggest you do, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly and don't uh, put your hands in your face or in your eyes immediately after handling these peppers because you want to make sure that you don't burn your your eyes and things like that because it can irritate them. The hot wing sauce is going to consist of a little bit of butter, lots of garlic, and some of this habanero chili. And the wings are not going to be fried, they're going to be baked on a high temperature so we'll get that same crunch. And let's get started. All right everybody, so the first recipe consists of two ingredients, Grand Diamond's lemon pepper and chicken wings. I'm gonna go for about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of seasoning per pound of chicken wings. All you have to do is sprinkle it over, give it a good mix, and then we're gonna put it on a pan to roast. I'm placing the chicken on a rack. That way the hot air in the oven will be able to circulate around the chicken, giving us that crispy skin that we so love when we fry. And I'm placing the chicken skin side up. Now let's season for our garlic habanero wings. I'm using the mild Grand Diamond all-purpose seasoning and I'm just going really light on it because the hot wing sauce has the salt and the spice also. And I'm going to do the same thing and put the chicken on a rack skin side up so the skin can keep the chicken moist during the roasting process. All of the chicken is finally cooked. What I wanted you to see was using this rack during the cooking process, the chicken doesn't stick. Look how I could just roll it over with the tongs. That's easy and then all the fat has rendered down to the bottom of the pan. Check out our lemon pepper wings. Time to get going on our garlic and habanero wing sauce. Just take the garlic and run it through a mincer. Give it a nice squeeze. And notice I am wearing my gloves. That's because I am preparing to handle this habanero pepper. Just cut it in half. Now you can choose to leave the seeds in or take them out. Remember that the seeds and ribs of a pepper on the inside, that is where the heat lives. So if you want it more spicy, leave them in. If you want to tame the spice, take a little bit of it out, just like you see me doing there. And then give it a nice slice and then a fine dice. In a pan over medium low heat, I'm going to drop the butter, the garlic, and the habanero peppers in together. Doing this process slowly gives the garlic and the habanero a chance to infuse the butter. So while I have the butter and the garlic over here going in this pan, right next to it I have the hot wing sauce that's already simmering very low, just slightly heating it a bit. Now I'm just going to slowly add our hot sauce to our butter and our garlic and habaneros. And the butter and garlic and habaneros has been turned off. That pan is off at this point. Just going to go ahead and add the hot sauce, give it a nice stir, and pour it directly over the wings immediately. Do not wait. You can smell all the spices in the hot sauce, the habanero, that garlic is really coming up. And you're just going to pour that over the wings and give them a great toss. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Whether you decide to make the lemon pepper wings or the garlic and habanero wings, all these recipes can be found at gdseasoning.com. See you next time.